Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Nika and I make book related videos and welcome to today's reading vlog. So we are going to start by unboxing this package. Now I ordered these books from my secret bookshelf which is also the book club that I'm part of and they send the books, they ship them out really really quickly and I think I've ordered from them a couple of times before now and all of the books that are listed in their website are signed by the author so they are really exclusive and like you know great um, books great symbols that you can have because having an author signed book whatever the book is it's just um, it's an amazing experience at least I think so so anyway I ordered this book about um, a week ago and they just came yesterday and uh, I've had you know I've had it sitting down somewhere else because I don't like open the packages immediately as soon as I receive them so I let it stay out for a day and today we are going to do the unboxing I've sanitized it and everything and uh, yeah it's really dense and heavily packaged so let's see what's inside I mean I know what's inside you guys don't so this is going to be amazing for you They have sent the books in this beautiful package and this is so good because I don't have a box of my secret bookshelf yet and this is my first one so I'm really really happy and we are going to now open it. I actually really like the aesthetics of this box you know it's just really beautiful look good on my shelf as well so let's open it Ooh, it's 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 jam-packed with books and bookmarks so we're gonna open it without any further ado let's get the bookmarks out of the way first so first off we have got two normal people stickers by Sally Rooney and on the back there is a quote that says being alone with her is like opening a door away from normal life and then closing it behind him I actually really liked normal people if you haven't watched my video where I like analyze the heck out of it then you can definitely check it out um, I'll link it somewhere then I also have here Dog's Diaries by Stephen Butler and James Patterson now I haven't personally read it but the um, art style is really good and then on the back we have this blank where you can write this book belongs to I put my name in there and then we have all the wonderful books I'm just gonna flip it so that the books come out So these are all the wonderful books and you know what I am going to open them all and then I'm going to tell you all about them. Uh, firstly they are all, oh my god that sound, it's so satisfying. <laughs> so let us open the books and I'll tell you more about them all. So these are all the wonderful books that I just unboxed. Two of them are hardcovers. The rest four are all paperbacks as you can see. Now let's go over them and see what they're about. So the author Sabada Roy's uh, writing, um, you know, Ove. His Ove is really, really very diverse because all of these books, 
if you're thinking that all of these are novels, you're really, really long, wrong. <laughs> and if you're thinking that these are just stories, novels and poetry, even then you're wrong. Because these books are really much more diverse than that. And I'll tell you why. Because this right here, Winter Poems, is actually a collection of poems as you can see from the title. Then we have Pentacles, which is um, one long story and four short poems. So that's that. Then we have Abyss, which is actually a full length play. So the author is a poet, an author and also a playwright. Um, so his writing, as you can see, is really, really diverse. And then we have Frosted Glass, which is one story cycle com comprising of 14 stories and one poem cycle consisting of 21 poems. So, so short stories and poems. And then we also have these two books. Etchings of the first quarter of 2020, letters, ideas, conversations, and poems, which is a lot like you know non-fiction, but at the same time there are also poems. So these are like musings that the author has. Then the last book, Random Subterranean Mosaic, 12, 2012 to 2018, Time Frozen in My Red Thoughts, is a collection of thoughts and musings again. It is a kaleidoscope of random yet mysteriously structured to a pattern. Fiction, semi-autobiographical and autobiographical pieces, poems, shorts, uh, short shorts, opinions, observations, and conversations. So as you can see, that the oof of Sabrina Roy is really, really diverse, and I'm really excited to be reading them all. So welcome to this reading vlog. If you have read any of his works, don't forget to put your thoughts down in the description box, because then obviously I'll have quite a bit of fun seeing what you all thought about them after I've uploaded this video, obviously. So yeah, let's see which book I will start with tonight and um, I'll see you again soon with another update. Three hours later. I finished reading Winter Poems. Now this is a collection of 26 plus, plus 12 different, um, so 38, right? Yeah, 38 different poems and they're really good. You know, um, the words that the author has used are very contemporary, very modern. But I really like that the content he is writing on is so unlike the ones that have inundated our Instagram feeds and everything these days. The author focuses a lot on the aspects of home, of death. And he also, you know, uses a lot of urban imagery so that, um, you know, it really, like me being a person who lives in an urban area, the words that he uses really are very easy, uh, make it very easy for me to imagine this whole scenario that he's describing in front of my eyes. And the imagery is very, very stunning. Yes, it's urban, so you might think, you know, at first, on a first impression that urban imagery might not look good on poetry, but trust me, come, um, combining all of the things that he's talking about like death like home um the sense of belonging etc with the juxtaposition of urban life of urban imagery it's just so profound because it's something that we as you know gen x gen z even millennials can really relate with um so i think it's really really good and um i really liked it it also really um evokes the need of human relationships the importance of human contact having a person you can talk to you know that ultimate human relationship and i'm not talking simply you know romantic it, ha it can be platonic as well but the whole importance the whole um aspect of having a companion with you that is really very much it's not that um direct it's quite subtle but yeah it's another point the author makes and i really really enjoyed it. it's a really short book as you can see and once you start reading the poems you'll be you'll be bound to like just introspect retrospect i mean this book technically shouldn't have taken me say three hours or 3.5 hours but the poems are so introspective um and evocative really that you are just bound to just sit down and imagine and live through the words so um yeah this is really really great um really enjoyed it i think this might be a four out of five star for me 3.5 or four mm. 
definitely a four star for me. I really, really enjoyed it. I think you should all definitely pick it up as well. So, um, it's afternoon. <laughs> um, and as you can see, the people outside my house are back to yelling. Oh God, I really hate it when this happens when I'm filming. But anyway, I am going to have some lunch now. I'm going to make some lunch for myself and my brother. We're both home today. Uh, my mom and dad are not. So yeah, that's the plan. And um, maybe I'll continue some more with some more reading. Maybe, I think now that I'm done with this, I may pick up the... the non-fiction bits like the musings bit so I think I might start with etchings of the first quarter of 2020 letters ideas and conversations and poems this is a hardcover by the way I think I might start with this one um, in the evening today and uh, yeah it's starting to get a little bit cold now that Diwali Durga Puja and all of it is over and like the like the author like the poet says you know after this time of the year after Diwali after Durga Puja it really starts to get colder in Kolkata it's similar and here in Assam as well so it's really nice um, because it's still cold and honestly to film this bit of the video I'm sitting on the floor and I'm already feeling cold so Anyway, I'll see you guys later this evening and I'll tell you more about how my reading goes. Six and a half hours later. Hey guys, so time for a quick update. Uh, it's 8.30 p.m. now and I have been reading this book, Etchings of the First Quarter of 2020. I'm like sort of midway in and I do have to say that the author's writing is very, very diverse because um, the first... Um, the first content of this book was actually a letter he wrote to his stepdaughter and then it was a letter to another woman and then um, it's a mix of so many things. There is a lot on um, say Karl Marx's theories, um, everything related to Karl Marx. There's also quite a bit on psychology uh, like schizophrenia etc. There's also something on um, Anna Karenina and then there's also something on Lolita by Nabokov um, so as you can see the writing is really really diverse I have to say that some of the things were not very easy to understand for me for instance the psychology bits I have to admit um, I mean I was not a psychology student in 11 and 12 so admittedly some of the points were difficult for me to understand and those were also the like points where it took a lot of um, like mental energy to get into the um, reading get into the writing of that bit because it's so um, full of jargons which are particular to that subject and me as a foreigner to this subject I could not understand everything but overall I really am enjoying this book I will definitely be continuing reading it I'll probably finish it tonight um, that's the plan anyway and um, yeah as soon as I'm done reading this book I'll also well, I'll basically write the reviews for both of these and like put it up on Goodreads so you can definitely check it out. I'll obviously be posting about it on my Instagram so that you guys can know and you know order one for yourself if you want. Um, yeah, it's going great and I'll be reading some more now and uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I thought I would give you a quick update and the reason why I have been MIA, it's two days later actually and uh, I'm finally done with the book Frosted Glass. The reason why I haven't filmed anything is because I have been vociferously reading this book and I've been really enjoying it. It's a collection of both short stories and poems and there are uh, 14 stories and 21 poems. Now let me tell you about the stories first. Now in all of these stories there is a protagonist and he is named Rahul in all of these protagonists as if to, how do I say this, as if to um, universalize um, the experiences that happen to human beings. And moreover I think Rahul is like the epitome or he is an example of the modern literary man, not literary sorry, modern contemporary man and in that it, he is really really very relatable. For us if you're reading this book you'll understand what i'm saying the, the thing is he's very um he's very much like us and so the things that he goes through and everything like that 
is really really very understandable for us at times the things that he goes through are kind of sad kind of hits you very heavy um but yeah the quality is really really good and one more thing about the way the author writes let me tell you something more about that the thing is that in all of the stories it's as if the author lays out the facts before you in a very objective manner as if you know devoid of any sentimentalism and it is up to the reader to um, scrutinize to analyze the things and in that way this collection is a really thought provoking one which i think you will definitely enjoy you should definitely pick it up but like i said you should not rush i think i mean like based on my personal experience i took some time to read this book two days in fact and i really really enjoyed it in that way i also read the poems actually i would like read a short story or read two short stories and then read a poem or sometimes read one story then read two three poems something like that i was reading both of them at the same time and at the back it actually um describes like most of the poems like all of the poems i think as far as whenever they're mentioned at least they are set in calcutta as far as i know and in the back it says calcutta features in some of the poems like the looming backdrop of gotham city in a batman movie which i thought was just so funny and amazing for all the um you know batman fans out there so anyway i really enjoyed this book definitely a four out of five star and i hope you will enjoy it too now since it's a collection it's also great if you are going through any reading slumps or anything like that and since it is the end of the year i understand that people might not be um, wanting to read anything intense too heavy but since these are short stories there are obviously breaks in between so you can definitely read it as well and i think this is definitely the good time the best time of the year to give this book to a friend or you know a sibling who would want to read or anything like that so yeah um four or five stars hey guys how's it going so it's the same day but it's night now it's 11 o'clock and i'll be sleeping in a while but before i do i have decided to pick up pentacles for the night now this is a collection of one a uh, long story and four short poems so yeah i'll be reading this now and i'll be savoring each and every work here and um the next time you see me i'll probably be telling you about how i felt about it so yeah um see you soon 72 hours later hey guys how's it going so it's a couple of days later and i am go- today going to tell you about my thoughts for two books a firstly pentacles and then abyss Now let's do Pentacles first. This is a collection of one story and there are a few poems here. Um four poems. I overall I rated this book uh 3 out of 5 star and reason is All right. So, uh what is the story about? The story is basically about the effects of divorce on children. If I can put it in simple words. No, it's very um usual to come across divorce separation between um parents between a couple um in the literatures we read about but this book really delves more into the psychology of the child because of whatever is happening around him however it has a lot of philosophy um because there's also a lot of self actualization self discovery for the kid but overall it had a lot of philosophy in the story which i think particularly liked um and regarding the poems actually they were okay but i think the poems this time were written in a very narrative style in a very free style which i didn't quite like i thought they didn't do any, anything to make it better the themes uh, the essence of the poems so i think that was it was a kind of a let down considering the other books i've read by sabana roy so yeah this was unfortunately a 3 out of 4 a 3 out of 5 star for me um i was expecting more from it but unfortunately i didn't enjoy it much so um yeah not that great and then we have here abyss which is a play uh it's a two act play and reading a play is quite different from reading a novel really because what well, this i think was very much a situational situational drama as in a plot driven plot driven um and it basically is very female centric also because i would say there are three main characters here first is debashri orangela 
uh, mother daughter duo and there is also a detective here whose name is uh, Renuka if i'm not if i'm if i'm not mistaken uh, and well basically there's a murder so you know there's a lot of um, inspection and everything going on there's a lot of interrogation and everything going on and within it again i think which is an element of sabana roy's writing there's quite a bit of philosophy um there's a lot of debate really so it's good but at times it does get a bit um bit shaky because of what i find about personally about philosophy and all of that um overall this conflict the central conflict as it is written in the blurb also they like pointed out in the blurb and i was expecting that, that there's a central conflict between the mother daughter and it is definitely one of the um overarching points of the whole story of the whole drama rather so yeah it's overall a very interesting story it get it can get a bit um disturbing at points because of the you know murder that takes place but is it murder is it suicide now that's the question so yeah because of that all the sleuthing and everything going around it can get a bit disturbing it affects you a bit in the in the middle but overall i thought this was definitely much much better than pentacles yeah um however i would have to say that the language sometimes that the author adopts isn't as easy um compared to say the other books like like we have here like etchings for instance i thought the language in this one is particularly understandable however um the language can get a bit muddy in these two books but overall i have to say i enjoyed abyss more than i did pentacles so yeah i think this one is a 3.75 or a 4 star for me just because it was better <laughs> better than this one at least so yeah that's that and i am next i think i'm going to actually take a break from um reading these books i think i'm going to read a uh, really fun romance maybe tonight i have been like reading just a few pages of it every night before i go to sleep i've been doing it like not yet a week but like i think 3 4 days i've been reading sesi hart's book so i think i'll continue with that but my next book like actual book will definitely be um this one which is another non fiction um collection from the author random subterranean mosaic 2012 to 2018 time frozen in my thoughts now i think that the author is especially good when he like writes these um and i'm saying that because i really really enjoyed etchings i thought etchings was really great and that's why i really look forward to his ponderings his musings his thoughts when put down so i thought this was really good and that's why i'm expecting something um similar if not better from this one so yeah this actually comparatively bigger than the rest but i think um frosted glass was just as thick <laughs> but anyway yeah this is the next book i'll be picking up possibly tomorrow i think now i'm just going to watch a movie a nice romance movie or maybe even the romance book but i think i'll read that at night but for now it's almost like crisp well it's not really christmas but it's almost december so i think i'm going to be reading a bit watching a bit of christmas romance movies <laughs> on netflix so yeah uh the next time i see you i probably will have made quite a dent in this book or probably will have finished it and will have some thoughts to share with you all so yeah i'll see you all soon one eternity later hey guys how's it going so this is a terrible angle actually i look like a potato but anyway we're going to roll with it so today is friday um and i wanted to give you an update of the reading that i've done these past couple of days and i took some time to read this collection which is the last uh, the fifth book uh, by sabana roy which goes as random subterranean mosaic now this was a wonderful collection of different uh, genres there were poems there were short stories that were also um amusings and stuff like that which i found firstly in his etchings book which i quite enjoyed so i was really looking forward to reading this i really um really enjoyed it and one of the things which i like saw in this particular book was that many of the works had some autobiographical elements autobiographical oh, oh my god i cannot speak today um but autobiographical as well as semi autobiographical and i really enjoyed them you know So we know that there are many things that 
we as people don't like to talk about but the author has really delved into them in all of the book well not all but in the autobiographical works in this book which i really really liked there are also some amazing poems uh, the love poems were really good in this one um, and i wish i can find one now so that i can uh, read you one perhaps I have been chasing you in my dreams ever since I was born. Your hazel-colored eyes, your chestnut skin, flowing like honey, and the twilight dreams and philosophies you whispered in my ears. The watercolors of eloquent lilies and silent ponds that you drew during the lazy summer afternoons. You had whispered to me on a spring morning that to make love to you, I would have to know my land and the shadows and faces of my people. I would have to run through its woods, swim across its oceans, climb over its mountains, walk through its deserts. Now that I have done it all and I have returned old and tired, I found you sleeping expectedly in my backyard, in the January sunshine basking among a bed of sunflowers. And so yeah, as you can see, I'll probably uh, put in a clip here before this bit. I was reading this, uh, you know, in the sunshine, it was just so great because I was basking in the sunshine and then I could read these poems, these works full of amazing imagery. Really, really, really great. So how much do I read this book? Um, I do inevitably compare it with etchings because I really like that. And, um, and in that regard, I think I'm going to rate this four out of five stars, I think. This is not a five star because you know uh, there were a couple of pieces which I found were unnecessary and a bit long, but other than that, this was really enjoyable and I rated it four out of five stars. And I think you should definitely pick it up.